Well, two suspects are in custody after two separate officer involved shootings today. The first happened around four o'clock this morning on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. The other happened just before 1 30 this afternoon on Cedar Bluff, just off Interstate 40. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith has a breakdown of both of those shootings for us. Shannon. Robin, let's start with the one on Cedar Bluff in West Knoxville. Knox County deputies tried to serve several felony warrants on a suspect accused of aggravated robbery and domestic assault charges. That suspect was in the driver's seat of a car at the Kroger gas station. When deputies approached him, they say the suspect rammed his car into a deputy's cruiser and the deputy fired his gun. And then all of a sudden I heard some gunfire. Then I seen a little four door car jump the curb and a line of police, about 10 unmarked cars, and by then there was other cars there too. And then they come right through here. That short police chase ended on the I-40 eastbound on-ramp, backing up traffic for a few hours. The suspect, his passenger, and the deputy were taken to UT Medical Center. Since this shooting involves a Knox County Sheriff's deputy, the Knoxville Police Department will handle the investigation. Another officer involved shooting happened in Pigeon Forge this morning. Pigeon Forge police say 18 year old Jonathan Sellers led them on a chase into Sevierville. Officers used spike strips to stop the car, and that's when they say Sellers got out of the Pontiac with a shotgun. Three officers fired on him. Sellers was treated at UT Medical Center and then booked into the Blunt County Jail. TBI is investigating this as the 10th officer involved shooting that they've been requested to investigate in the state so far this year. Robin. Shannon, thank you. Well, not long after.